When I saw the news of Graham Budman's review, and in particular uh, what was being said in preparation for it, I just smelt something going on. I felt this was the government trying to take control of home education and probably to do it without really consulting people about beforehand about what the rules should be and what and how it should all be done, to do it on the quiet in a little clause in the education bill. At the beginning of 2009, the government commissioned Graham Badman, the retired director of Kent Children's Services, to undertake a review of home education. The review was to look at the issue of safeguarding and how any concerns for the safety, welfare and education of a child was being dealt with, as well as looking at the support offered to children educated at home. On the day the report was published, the government announced that it accepted all the recommendations made. However, many home educators take issue with the need for the review and the inadequate review process and feel that the recommendations made are at best flawed and at worst dangerous. One recommendation calls for the compulsory registration of all home educators. Many feel that this is unnecessary. The law already states that a school must notify the local authority when a child is removed in order to be educated at home. And the National Children's Database contact point has a field for the educational setting, which includes home education. What is more, the particular form of registration proposed by the government is not simply a matter of notifying the local authority. It's more like applying for a licence to be a home educator. That registration will have to be every year, which means that if the local authorities have any concerns at all, they can withdraw that registration and force the child into school. The question that is uppermost in my mind is whether a local authority should have responsibility to ensure that a child is receiving a, quote, suitable education. I think the local authority can't say what a balanced education is. The responsibility to educate a child well lies with the parent in law and therefore a parent has to have the right to decide what that constitutes. As a safeguarding tool, compulsory registration is also not the answer. Many home educators have pointed out that even when the state knows where a child is and professionals are involved with the family, this doesn't in itself keep the child safe. The problem is not knowing the children, it's what happens then. It's the local authority, um, personnel, health professionals, social services, um, not fo then following up and following routines in order to properly help the children. The report has said that the child's education will be assessed annually and measured against the parent's statement of educational approach. The report has also said that the parent needs to come up with his plan within less than two months of beginning home education. The notion that the state should make all the choices, that the state should say what is suitable rather than me, I find frightening because that takes you into some very disturbing territory politically. It puts everybody in the mainstream in the, in the sausage factory system and doesn't allow for the individual at all, uh, the individual's learning needs or the individual's freedom. For home educators who follow an autonomous or informal educational style, the concept of a yearly forward plan is simply unworkable and shows that the review team failed to understand anything about how informal learning works. They totally dismiss uh, research into home education. They don't even mention my research into home education. I've done two uh, fairly large-scale studies. It's, it shows a complete misunderstanding of what home education is and it doesn't respect the civil rights of the parents or the children and it's completely unnecessary and intrusive. The report also recommends that the local authority should have routine right of access to the home. They would also have the right to interview the child alone or if the child is deemed vulnerable or has particular communication needs in the presence of someone else but not the parent. This recommendation has distressed and angered children and parents alike. I was actually shocked. I didn't think something like that could be written in this country. I found it quite terrifying. I am not a criminal, and yet they want to have right of access to my home, right of access to my child. If a child's in trouble with the law, they have a responsible adult with them. And I think it's quite disturbing that they think that, that they should take away that basic right from people. And yes, the local education authority ought to know that your child is being educated. 
but they ought to know that for the most part just because of their ordinary contacts with you. The government responded to the review by focusing on the aspects of the bad man report that required legislation and it rushed to introduce a clause into the new safeguarding bill. At the same time it launched a consultation on the monitoring of home educators. There was no corresponding rush to bring into force any of the recommendations involving support to home educators, which it appears will not receive any additional funding from central government, nor will any of it be made statutory. Education Otherwise believes that the whole review process is flawed and as such welcomes the Select Committee inquiry into the review and the recommendations. We would like to encourage people to contact their MPs to raise awareness of home education and to help them understand the potentially devastating effect that many of these changes will have on their family. There may only be a short time between MPs returning to Parliament and the start of the debate for the Improving Schools and Safeguarding Children Bill which contains the reference to the monitoring of home educators. Home educators should get in there and talk to their MPs because most MPs won't know anything about home education. They won't have experience of it themselves. They probably haven't really ever talked to a home educator. They're spending time in the bubble in Westminster in their constituency. Their time is being managed or taken up by people who bring them problems. If they don't know about home education, if an MP is ignorant of what home education consists of, then they're open to being very easily persuaded that what the government wants to do is right, that the fears that people have expressed are right, and it ought to be something that is controlled. I went to see my MP, he knew absolutely nothing about it, and as a result he chose to take it on as his annual debate. I think building up a relationship with people, helping them to understand what we do, and just getting involved in the political process is the way that we have to go. I think sometimes we believe our MPs do know quite a lot about everything, but they don't. And this was one of the good things is that we actually engaged with him uh, you know, and gave him a brief education on it. And so he decided that it was something he did want to take forward, especially as he is a dad himself.